we must all know somebody we think who is severely de deluding himself or herself uh, that the person is far superior to what they are. But evidence suggests most of us are fooling ourselves when we overestimate our good qualities or our po positive future. So how is it that people can go through so much of life and maintain these distortions? Suddenly we get feedback throughout our experiences. We do succeed and we fail. How is it that we end up with a more favorable view of self than the facts would seemingly dictate? Well, this is a challenge for methodologists. For a while, psychologists were saying, let's be strict about this. So if I fool you, then I know something that you don't, and I lead you to think something different. So if I fool myself, then I have to play both roles. I have to both know it and not know it. So we have to get some kind of scientific proof that we know something and don't know it at the same time. Now, when psychologists tried to do that, well, we didn't find very much. It was very hard to set up an experiment that would prove people knowing and not knowing things at the same time. But then uh, the researchers said, well, come on, that's unrealistic. And they eased up a little bit and began to think about things like wishful thinking. Uh, this is a term for when you sort of convince yourself of something that's not exactly true, but maybe it's an exaggeration or a distortion in the way you like. Psychologists thought these things much, might be much easier to sustain. This kind of thinking really opened the doors and a lot of research began to illuminate how people do manage to fool themselves and end up thinking they are better than they are. So I'll run through a couple of these. Uh, let's start with what is called the self-serving bias. Every time you succeed or fail, it doesn't automatically register on your self-esteem. It only does if you think it's a reflection on you. And it turns out people are very good at when things turn out well, when they succeed, saying, oh yeah, that's a sign of what a good person I am. Meanwhile, when things turn out badly, they say, oh, that was not because of me, that was bad luck or a bad situation or I couldn't help it or it was too hard or, or whatever. So systematically, success you attribute internally to yourself, failure you attribute externally to other factors. And then you base your self-esteem on, on what's attributed to yourself, so that's mainly your successes. And sure enough, if you base your self-esteem on your successes more than your failures, then uh, uh, I mean, a few exceptions will get through, but by and large, that will enable people to come up with these positive illusions. I want to emphasize something, too. It's not like a total loser uh, ends up believing that he's Einstein and Jesus Christ rolled into one. Uh, people tend to believe they are a little better than they are, there's a certain, we call a margin of illusion. So when we say they fool themselves, it's not night and day. It's not like you're playing a completely different role. It's just your belief about yourself is slightly improved over what the facts would warrant. I remember one of my colleagues uh, was studying intelligence, and he used to ask people what their score was on the aptitude test that you took to get into college. And he, he would write that down and try to correlate it with their performance in the laboratory. Then he got to thinking, well, I wonder if people are telling me the truth. So he got permission from all of them to go over to the registrar's office to check their scores. Well, there was exaggeration. It wasn't that total dummies were portraying themselves as super geniuses, but people were just remembering their scores as a little higher than they actually were uh, across the spectrum. There's a general pattern of uh, remembering things as, as a little better than reality. So that's what we're looking at with positive illusions and self-deceptions. It's like a slightly improved, slightly idealized, slightly better than life version of the real you.